Aries, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for September 2018. Make sure you click in the description box down below and check out the Stormy Grace merch <laughs> in partnership with my friends over at Bad Manners, so make sure you check that out. All right, Aries, so this month, oh my goodness, like just shoulders drop down, relax, take a deep breath. We've got your ruling planet Mars out of retrograde. It came out of retrograde August 27th. It's been retrograde since June, so this idea of moving things forward, these efforts of moving things forward has not been the business. You have just not been able to do that. Between looking at the groups that you're running with and your career sector, this has been a place where you have had to review, review, review. You've had to relook at your strategy. And this month in September, we are released from that retrograde go backwards energy and it's time to move things forward. And I tell you what, you've got some energies that are definitely in your favor. So let's start at the beginning of the month and let's just walk this thing through, okay? So right at the beginning, beginning of the month on the 5th, we've got Mercury coming into the sign of Virgo where the sun is also shining bright. Remember where the sun is at. This is where we want to express ourselves. This is where it says, hey, I've got light, heat, um, life and vitality happening here. Mercury joins that energy and we're thinking, we're speaking, we're communicating, we're going over these things. Now this is lighting up your sixth house. So this is again a place of work, right? This is a place of work, but it's also for you, Aries. And I think it's very important in September and through the rest of the year for you to keep in mind that the sixth house is not just about work, right? It's career, it's um, freelance work. If you are an employer and you employ people, yes, that's all in here. But it is also about your mental health, especially what's running around up here. What is happening to your health up here, Aries? This is something that you're going to need to take note of because you are no longer in the phase of life where you can just put your head down and ram through it. That is the Aries way. I will just put my head down and ram through this and that won't work. You've been required to do some changing and letting go. So hopefully you've been able to see that and get a new strategy around that. Now, <clears throat> with Virgo, with Mercury and the sun here, it does light up some beautiful potentials for work, but it also lights up opportunities for health, for fitness, for daily routine, and also for service, right? If you have been feeling stuck, get out of yourself and go help other people and the energies will get moving for sure. So it's a lovely, lovely energy. Now on the sixth, we have got Saturn coming out of retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. So up there in your 10th house. Now let me tell you, when Saturn went retrograde, what was happening is that Saturn was saying, hey, I need you to grow up. I need you to mature here. I'm gonna show you some things that will likely punch you right in your ego, right? And I need you to mature. I need you to come up even if you are 100. Saturn Saturn is doing the same thing for all of us no matter what age you are, okay? So as it comes direct here, what's happening is that it's also forming a really beautiful grand trine pattern. So you have a lot of help in the career zone here. So this energy helps you to move these things forward. And with Saturn in your back pocket, you're making stronger, more mature decisions, which is absolutely phenomenal. If you're starting a new business, you want Saturn down there to help ground that energy down. So I absolutely love that. Now, on the 9th, we've also got a new moon happening in Virgo, which is going to be joining all of those energies of Mercury and the Sun, so fresh new beginnings are happening here. This is a wonderful energy to push forward. Remember, at the new moon, we're planting these seeds of intention. What do you want in your work area? What do you want from here? Let's plant those seeds of intention so we can begin them here. Now, some of the other things that could come up is if you are a freelance person, this could bring new opportunities into your life over the next four weeks. Um, um, it, you could take some kind of promotion. You could definitely be elevated in your status in some way, shape, or form. If you're looking for a job, this is a phenomenal energy for that. Now, I do also think if the health and the fitness and the mental fitness as well have been something that you've kind of been feeling a little stuck with, this is a wonderful energy to have things move forward. This is a fresh start, a brand new beginning for you. Now, on the same day that we're having this beautiful new moon, we have also got Venus joining Jupiter in Scorpio, so in your eighth house. This is delicious. Now, Venus and Jupiter are two benefic planets, right? So they bring benefit. They like being around each other. And granted, they're not doing a super connection, but they are both roaming that eighth house um, space up there, which is really important. Now, here's what I would tell you. The eighth house is about joint resources. So the first thing I think of is I think of intimacy. Any place where you are jointly connected to someone else creates intimacy, right? This could bring a change to your sex life. This could bring a change to your intimate life with your partner. Now your partners can also look like your business associates, maybe a mentor you've needed to go to to get a little help or guidance, right? 
definitely could be bringing a boost to your finances. I would tell you, if you are looking for somebody to collaborate, somebody to invest with, somebody to connect with, to, you want to get a loan, whatever these things are, after you get past the ninth is a really good time to do that because Venus and Jupiter are up there just, you know, beaming with rays of helpfulness down there. So plus remember, you've got Saturn now direct up in your career sector. Your ruling planet is also forward. So that chance to make a joint connection that is beneficial to you, your finances, and to maybe a partnership you have in your life are abundant at this time. Now on the 11th, we've got your ruling planet Mars moving out of Capricorn, moving back into Aquarius, which this is where I want to just really point your attention and your action this month, okay? With Mars and Aquarius, this lights up the 11th house space, and what it's saying to you is you've got to look at who you're associated with. Who are the five friends that you're running around with? Who's your social group? Who's your network? You know, online, is your um, are your profiles updated? Even if it's, you know, just in the social medias, can people find you, right? Are you findable? Are you connected in some way where the dreams that you want to move forward, people can help you achieve that. Aries, it is people that are going to help you make your next moves. And this is a really important month for that. Now, I do think with Mars and Aquarius right now or moving into there as well, it could be a time where if there are friendships or associations that are not as aligned with you as they need to be, some of them could be falling off as well. And you may just be making that decision because you're maturing. You've got a different purpose this month. And I think that you know that heart and soul. So I love that for you. Now on the 12th, we've got Jupiter in a sextile to Pluto. This is again, you guys, some energy that I absolutely love because from here on out, it's like success positive change. Pluto wants to transform. Jupiter wants to bring wisdom and opportunity. You put these together in a sextile and when the planets have sex, that's good for us, right? Because you will intelligently use and take advantage of an opportunity here. So between your eighth house and your 10th house, you've got a joint resource in your career and soul level calling zone. Even if you're retired, someone is likely rolling into your world trying to connect with you to give you purpose to take out into the world. And this is success, personal growth, I love all of it, okay? Now, when we get to the 18th, here's the time. This is the pinnacle of this energy, but you've actually got this going for a few weeks. Um, we've got Mars, who's now up in Aquarius in your 11th house, in a square to Uranus, who's in your second house. So this is a this is an, an energy that actually will last until the 28th of this month. And what I want to tell you about that is that this is a break-free energy, right? This is a break-free energy. You're not going to want to be held down um, you're, you're not going to want to take any, any tacos from people, you know, do no harm, but take no shit is pretty much what this comes down to for me with you. Somebody could be, you could feel like even, it doesn't have to even be real. Okay. You could feel like something or someone is trying to hold you back right? You could be having issues with social ideas out in the world, right? And it's standing in your way. But the thing I think, instead of using this to be impulsive and rash and do something that is actually going to cause you issues, because I'm telling you, Mars and Uranus together in a square is a warring energy and you kind of are a warring energy yourself. Don't get caught up in it. Instead, look at this. Mars is over here in your social zone. Uranus is saying you had better do it different or we are not going to be able to make progress. You have got to see our value different, right? That's what you can use this for. Where can you make these adjustments here? This is a wonderful energy for that. So please keep that in mind. Don't get caught up in the minutia. It, and remember that it lasts until the 28th, okay? Now on the 22nd, we're coming into a new season. We've got the autumn equinox. Oh, that's very exciting because remember in Western astrology, we follow the seasons, not the constellations. So this is again, September is like fresh start city, right? So this is a phenomenal new season. We're going to shift gears a little. We're going to slow down. We're going to cool down just a little bit, right? But in the slow and in the cool, you've got every tool in your warrior's backpack you need to push forward forward to be successful at pushing forward so welcome to your new season as of the 22nd on the 23rd the sun moves into libra so we're going to start to light up partnerships okay now remember these partnerships are not just romantic partnerships but certainly the sun here may be helping you refresh a commitment to a partner this could be a business partner as well or a, a refresh a commitment to yourself because the relationship of you with you especially with chiron and aries you've been getting real different aries like these layers of who you think you have to be have just been 
peeling beautifully and you're coming out and showing us this different warrior i absolutely love it so i think this is a, a beautiful energy to help support that partnership then on the 24th we've got the full moon happening in your sign right here in aries now this also has a very heavy saturn influence to it okay now what i love about that is that the full moon says that something has to be ended acknowledged or adjusted so we're going to have a shift you're going to have a shift at the end of the month and typically let me tell you when the full moon lands in my sign i don't have a problem telling people how i feel about some things it's usually very tactful but i become aware of some things that are not working i become aware of some things about me that are new and are different and are ready to be expressed and you could very much so i think be having this experience but what i like about the energy here is that it's grounded so i think whatever you're realizing you're almost realizing it in the way aries that says this this last version of aries has to die off if the next version of aries is going to live and be successful and what you may be running into with this moon as well um, and i'll talk about it in the full moon video is that chiron is also in your sign so you could have some ideas from childhood that you are shedding these ideas of what what it meant to be a man what did it mean to be a woman you could be letting some of those go because they don't actually fit the projection that you have now and you know that because you're moving yourself in a different direction and these cosmos are helping you do that it's gorgeous now on the 30th of the month as we close out we have now got pluto coming out of retrograde as well in your 10th house look at this i mean just all systems are a go pluto out of retrograde now remember both saturn and pluto are going to say hey did you have you been working on this career and soul level purpose section uh, while we were asleep? We gave you five months to be working on this. Are you doing something? Have you done something with it? Because I'm about to show you how bad you are, right? So it's a gorgeous energy. There's a lot of responsibility on the table here. There's a lot of maturing, I think, that has happened over this last three months. And this is your month to shine and to start to move some of those things forward, knowing that the planets, especially all all of the personal and then the outers are on board with you as well so gorgeous month ahead i don't think that it means it's going to be absolutely easy you do have your ruling planet that is in a square with a very erratic energy so again don't write any checks your hiney can't cash but get out there be assertive be expressive and definitely be innovative in what you've got going on aries because your new seat at the next table you're supposed to be at is awaiting okay I love you guys so, so, so much. If you need a reading, come visit me at stormygrace.com. And if you don't need a reading, thanks for watching so much. Really believe that. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next month. Bye, guys.